Hi, I'm David Brooks, and this is the first camp updates. The lads, we obviously got together in the in the canteen bit and, and had a bit of food, and then kind of everyone watched uh, watched the game. Obviously, everyone had their their own teams that they were supporting. There was a few obviously foreign lads that wanted uh, Italy to win, and then obviously the home support was was far greater. Obviously, it's never nice watching pens. I think as a football player, you kind of get nervous yourself watching it, thinking that. Obviously, you kind of want to be in, in that position to take one, but I think the, the nerves are obviously kicking in for the other players because you obviously have no control over it. So it's a, it was a nervy watch, and, and obviously a few of the boys weren't really happy that they were on the wrong side of them. My tournament wasn't probably the way I wanted it to go. I think um, obviously going out there, you kind of want to play as much as possible, and, and the circumstances I, I was probably playing in um, wasn't ideal. Uh, but I think when you look at the grand scheme of things, to, to say that I've been to a Euros and, and, and played um, some minutes is, is obviously a fantastic achievement. But obviously there is there is that slight bit of a disappointment because obviously you wanted to, to play a bit more and, and try and contribute to the team. Mepsi's tournament, I think he, he did play well. Um, obviously throughout the, the group games, he, I thought he was rather solid and, and defended well. Obviously against Denmark, it was a very tough opponent. And I think once we went, we went once we went down to 10 men, sorry, um, and obviously the other two goals went in, it was a bit of a flattering scoreline for, for Denmark, even though they probably deserved to come out the winners on the day. Um, obviously a bit harsher on, on Meps conceding four, but I think uh, throughout the tournament he, he was quite solid. The, the time off was obviously very brief. As a footballer, you kind of want to be involved in, in the national team and, and all the tournaments that kind of come with it and, and the days off kind of get sacrificed and obviously I'm not really complaining, I'd rather go to the Euros and had less time off than obviously not go to the Euros and, and probably have a bit more time off so um, not ideal but I'm not really complaining. <laughs> yeah the first session wasn't wasn't great so <laughs> obviously you kind of uh, expect, I've only had about, about a week off so I was kind of expecting to come back in and, and integrate with training with potentially a little bit of running on the af afterwards sorry um, but yeah, it was uh, none of that. I didn't even. I don't really see a football today, to be honest. I was just out there and run, running back and two to try and get fit to, to try and get into training. So obviously that's that's a bit new. And obviously yeah, I'm I'm going to try and push to to get fit as as quick as possible, so I don't have to be running and, and watching training from the sides. There's not many good players uh, on Among Us. I think um, I think there's quite a few people. As soon as they get it, they just start laughing. So. Um, yeah, you can kind of figure figure a few people out, but I don't know if it's a good trait or not. But if you're a good liar, you kind of get away with it. So um, I'd like to think I'm I'm decent at it, but it's uh, I think if I think if you ask all the other lads, they'll probably say they're the best as well.